Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my makeup starter kit. And you guys ask me like what kind of products I recommend all the time. So these are all the things I would recommend for beginners if you're just starting out, if you don't have any makeup collection at all. This would be perfect. I have a variety here between drugstore and high-end and I tried to choose only one product for each category like foundation, powder, mascara. I didn't want to like get carried away because I have so many favorites but I wanted to really narrow it down to the best of the best and if you guys like seeing like quick little makeup reviews make sure to subscribe to my makeup minute channel because I do like quick review on new products or just products that I love or hate and want to tell you guys about so subscribe to that and they're all really quick and I post three times a week on there now since I'm limiting this video to like one product per category I created an eBay collection down below if you guys saw my fitness essentials you know what I'm talking about but I made a eBay collection on my makeup starter kit so that's really cool so you'll see some of these products on there and even more that I would recommend to you guys so if you click it you could check it out and if you actually like what you see or you want to buy something you could buy it right through eBay and like a lot of these products especially the higher end products are a lot cheaper on eBay and a lot of them are brand new too so that's always a great option and make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video where I will be having a giveaway for you guys I'm gonna start with kind of how I go through my normal makeup routine so let's start with foundation my all-time favorite foundation between drugstore and high-end is the Revlon Color Stay. This has been my favorite for over a year now. And I actually really like the whipped form of this too. I don't have it here to show you, but it's Revlon Color Stay, but it's a whipped foundation and it comes in like a circle thing. It's in my eBay collection if you want to see what it looks like, but I really like that one. Maybe even a bit more than this just because it's a lighter consistency, but I love this because it's really affordable for foundation and it's a really good foundation. It has great coverage and it lasts throughout the day. I've even worn it like if I go to the beach sometimes and it will stay on like for the most part with me going in the water and swimming and all that and so that is why I love this. On to concealer I have a few that I use on a normal basis like I just kind of switch them up but this is probably one of my favorites that I have found so far and it is the NYX HG Photogenic Concealer and they have a full like HD line of like the photogenic stuff so it looks good on camera it's not going to make you look really white on camera and it's great I like covering your under eye circles and all that jazz it has really good coverage um, if you have any blemishes or stuff this will cover it really well. Now on to powder I use this all the time you guys always see me using it in my tutorials and it is the Bare Minerals Original Powder. This is is actually their foundation powder but I use it as a powder I don't know how like the original powder compares to the foundation powder but I just use this as a normal setting powder and I think a powder is really important if you sweat a lot if you have oily skin it's really gonna help even out your skin tone and it's gonna help also your makeup stay in place and not slip and slide around on your face and wear off so this one I am in the color medium I want to say I've had this for like two years it is on the pricier side but I've had it that long and I use it pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. I say I use it like three to four times a week. So I have used this thing so many times and I still, I'm finally like running low, but I have a bit of powder left still. So I'll definitely be repurchasing this because I love this stuff. It is pricey, but it does last a really long time. So now on to bronzer. You guys have also seen this and I have been through like three of these like little compacts and it is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It's in the color Sunny and the only down side is they only have this one color so if you're a little bit on the tanner side this might not be for you but I love it as you can see I already need a new one and why I like it is because it's matte there's like no shimmer in it which I don't prefer I don't like shimmer in my bronzers because I use it to like contour and I don't want my face to be like super shimmery everywhere so this is like amazing like back in high school I use this and I would use it like all over my face to like tan myself so I really do like this and it works really great now on to blushes. There are so many great blushes out there, but I chose this for one reason besides that I really like it. And this is the Hourglass blush. This is the Ambient Lighting blush in the color Dim Infusion. This color is super natural. It's like a corally pink color. And what I like about this is it's swirled with like a highlight. So the reason I chose this is when you apply it as a blush, it gives you like a bit of highlight too. So you don't really need a highlight. That's why I didn't include one 
because the only ones I like are from Hourglass and they're also really expensive. So if you're just starting out, I think this is a great kind of two-in-one product. On to eyebrows. This is like my newfound favorite product. It has completely transformed my brows. I've tried everything from like drugstore brow pencils to powders to all that. And this is the one thing that actually makes my brows, I think, look pretty nice. And this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I also have the pomade, but I think this one is great if you're just starting out and it's great for like a more natural look. And I love it. It has a spoolie on one side and then it has the eyebrow pencil on the other side. I 100% recommend this. You have to have a product like this in your makeup collection and it is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I find like this one and the Lorac Primer and a bunch of the high-end primers, you can get like a lot of small samples with like purchases which is great because even the little ones last a really long time. This one I've had a really long time. I want to say like two years. Like it still has the old packaging on it and it will make such a difference in your eyeshadows. If you've never tried it you will be shocked. Now the next thing I would recommend is eyeshadows and of course it's going to have to be the Naked palette. Out of the three Naked palettes I do prefer the first one. That's why I'm showing it to you guys. And if you think about it this way, if you have three or four like drugstore eyeshadow quads or trios, they're like seven or eight dollars. So that's kind of close to fifty dollars. I guess that's like thirty-ish dollars. Um, if you have like three or four, you know, it's getting up there. And these are much better quality. And this is the Milani Liquify Eyeliner. This is one of my favorite pencil liners. I've gone through quite a few of these. They're very, very, very comparable to the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On pencils. What's great about these? It's like a liquid pencil liner, so it goes on. But then, if you want to, before it sets, it takes about I'd say like 10 seconds to set. It's not like like a liquid liner it's not gonna smear everywhere but it's really cool because you could smudge it out and make it look really nice and smoky so this is great for that and it also lasts all day it doesn't smudge anywhere that's why I like this so much for mascara my all-time favorite is the L'Oreal Voluminous I like the curved brush one just because it fits nicely on your lashes they do have like a regular straight brush but this is one of my favorites it's more of a wet moist consistency and it can get a bit clumpy if you're not too careful but it's very dark and very bold which is why I like it so I really like this I've been through so many of these as well a newfound favorite that I recently picked up are the NYX Butter Lipsticks. They are amazing. I did a review of this again on my Makeup Minute channel. And um, this is just one of the colors I have. This is in the color Razzle Fiesta. But it's really cool and I really like them. They're very vibrant. And like what I like about it is like the actual color you see on the packaging is like the actual color of the lipsticks. Usually that's not the case, but this is. They're very buttery, just like the name suggests. They're very smooth. They're just really pretty colors. All the, I have three and all the ones I have, I love every single color. And for lip glosses, I don't wear lip gloss all too much. Um, usually I just layer it on top of a lipstick. So it's not something I'm like crazy about, but these I really think are cool so I had to share with you guys and it's the Milani 3D Glitzy Lip Gloss and I have like four or five of these and they're really cool. This one is in the color Fashion Diva and it's one of my favorites. It's like a pink lip gloss but when the light hits it it has like a purple shimmer to it. It's really really pretty. I hope you all enjoyed my makeup starter kit. Let me know what your like favorite makeup products are that you would tell somebody to put in their makeup starter kit. That way everyone can get some ideas down below. And now if you stuck with me this long it's time for the giveaway. I'm giving away two $25 gift cards to eBay so if you want a naked palette or you want just anything I've shown you could go get it like from my collection so make sure to do that how to enter all you have to do is create your own collection on ebay it doesn't have to be makeup related it could be anything and then share it by posting your url in the comments down below and i will randomly pick a winner a week from now and i will contact the winner and then link them in the description box also make sure to follow me on ebay and follow my collections i'll post all the details down below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and i will see you guys soon bye